I was just watching an interesting video. Here, have a look. Interesting, wasn't it? Interestingly, the first thing that came to my mind on watching this was not thoughts of going to Disneyland or learning to juggle, though I'll probably do that someday. Unfortunately, what the nerd in me first thought was quadratic equations. You're wondering, phew, that is the last thing that you would have thought about, right? But go back, think about what you studied in your 10th class. You studied quadratic equations, what did they look like? The quadratic equations looked something like this. A parabola in mathematical terms or a smiley in layman's language. Now go back to the video, you'll actually find them everywhere. So the quadratics are everywhere, right? You see smileys everywhere. You would have guessed by now what the topic for today is going to be. Yes, the topic for today is theory of equations. So theory of equations in general, but quadratic equations in particular. Equations in general aren't that interesting, are they? X's and Y's are as detached from reality as anything could be. In fact, when Sir Stephen Hawking was writing his book, somebody told him that every equation that he put in would actually halve his readership. As far as that, people dislike equations so much. And he actually took their advice. He did not, uh, he put just one equation, that 2 E is equal to MC square, which everybody's probably heard of, and at the fag end of the book. So, do equations really need to be that boring? Is it necessary that equations have to be really boring? Or can we actually make them interesting? Because if a quadratic is a smiley, a smiley cannot be that boring, is it? Let's see if we can actually use graphs to start learning quadratic equations and make them much more interesting. Let's start with quadratics. So what is a quadratic? Very simple. A quadratic is nothing but an expression where the degree of the variable is 2. Degree, as we know, is nothing but the highest power of the variable. So if I have, say, x squared plus 3x plus 6, that would be a quadratic polynomial. If I put equal to 0, it becomes a quadratic equation. Or x squared equal to 5, again a quadratic. x squared plus 9 equal to 0, again a quadratic. So all you need to do is check whether the degree of the variable is 2, or the highest power of the variable is 2. Seems simple enough, right? So check this equation, x minus 2 the whole square equals x square plus 5x plus 6. Tell me whether it's a quadratic or no. Perfect. So you understood that it's not actually a quadratic. The question was meant to confuse you. If you just looked at the question, you would have seen the degree to be 2, right? You had x minus 2 the whole square. On the right hand side, you had x square. But the key is to simplify, right? When you simplified it, the x squares got cancelled and you were left with a linear equation, which is why you concluded it's not a quadratic. So every equation first simplify and then check its degree. So you think it's a quadratic. Why? Because I believe at first glance, it looks like the highest power of x is 2. We have x minus 2, the whole squared. You have x squared on the right hand side. So it definitely looks like the degree of x is 2, right? Let's see what happens if we actually simplify it. So we started with x minus 2, the whole square equals x square plus 5x plus 6. Now if we open out this bracket, we are going to get x square minus 4x plus 4 equals x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now, what do you see? You have an x squared on both the sides. So both of those can get cancelled. If you cancel the two x squares, you will be left with 9x equals minus 2. That's definitely not a quadratic, right? You don't see the degree of x is 2. So this equation is actually not a quadratic. The key is you need to first simplify the equation and then figure out its degree. The same equation cannot have two different degrees, right? In the original form, if you say degree is 2, and then in the new form, the degree is 1. Cannot work that way, right? One equation should have one degree. So the key is degree is always found in the simplest form. See, because otherwise we can do magic. You can take any equation and convert it to any degree that you feel like, right? Let's say you give me 2x equal to 5. I'll happily add an x raised to 4 on both sides. I like the number 4. I want the degree to be 4. So I'll write x raised to 4 plus 2x here and make this 5 plus x raised to 4. Perfectly correct mathematically, I'm just adding x raised to 4 on both sides. But what have I done by doing this? I've actually made the degree 4. Can't be possible, right? We started with a linear equation. I made the degree 4, you might make the degree 3, somebody else will make the degree 5. Cannot work that way, right? The reason is, 
if you simplify this x raised to 4 on both sides, it's going to get cancelled. You will again be left with just 2x equal to 5, which is a linear equation. So remember, always first simplify the equation. Once you have the equation in its most simplified form, only then check what is the highest power and that will give you the degree. So in the simplest form, x squared was getting cancelled. We were left with a linear equation, 9x equals minus 2. Hence, the equation given to us was not a quadratic.